Hi, I'm Jane from Elna, and today we're going to look at threading your sewing machine. So you've got your lovely 680, you've taken out the box, you've got it all ready to sew, so we need to thread it up correctly. So the thread, again, I lay it down, I run the thread off the bottom, pop it up onto here, spool cap goes on the end with the little prongs out and underneath. And again, on here, it's always numbered and there's always solid and dotted line. So the solid line is for the needle threading. So we're going to thread round. I'm going to come down here, up. Make sure again you press the foot stop when you're threading because it opens the tension disc. So I'm going to pop it down now. because I've got through there. We need to make sure that the thread has gone through the take-up lever, which is here. You can see that here. You can see it here. You need to make sure that it's gone right through the front and sitting in properly. Otherwise it may jump out when you start sewing and then you'll get a bird's nest on the back of your sewing. So we're coming down here, we're going through, around the back. We're going to pop it through the little, I'm going to have to just move this around a little bit because I can't see too well there. So we're going to go through there. Through here there's like a little V shape, a minute. I'll pull it around. We go, so we're going through the thread guide on the top of the machine here, through the little V, which is here. This is very difficult, this doing it from the side and across the top of the number seven, round. And then I pop it on the thread cutter at the side and then make sure we're there. And we've got one threaded needle, so it's quite straightforward to do. Make sure your needle's in the correct position. If you're not sure the needle's in the correct position, then use the needle up down function here and that will set it in the right place for you. So that the needle will be in the right position then. Occasionally you will knock, with a tiny little hook that goes through the eye of the needle, you will occasionally, and we've all done it, just knock it so it just comes a little bit out of sync. You can very gently bend it back. So I'm going to see if I can get it down and show you here. I'm not sure if I can. There's a tiny little hook in the centre and you can just gently bend it back if you have actually knocked it slightly out of sync. So. Thank you for watching that. If you've got any queries or questions, please send them in or drop us an email. Um, thank you for look, looking at this and I'll see you soon.